Hey everybody, this is the story of my boat. Ha ha! Powered by a steam engine. This is a marine steam engine with a boiler and a proper double acting professional steam engine, marine steam engine made by sterlingkit.com. There's a link in the description. But I've converted it to actually work in a boat. So let me tell you how I built it. Um, link in the description to a 3D printer thingiverse, sections of a boat like this, that you can print on pretty well any 3D printer. You need the bed about this size. Uh, I didn't scale it in any way. Uh, this is either PLA or PTEG, depending on what actual fiber that I had um, to use and uh, eventually it makes up um, a hull. This was a, a wooden uh, base that I made for it and you glue it together in sections like this. Um, inside it pretty well fitted straight off the engine. Oops, the engine. The burner. As you can see, it pretty well fitted inside, and all I had to buy from Amazon, or you can get it from Timu or lots of other places, was a propeller. Here's the propeller. You see that? Uh, that came with a propeller shaft, and I had had to buy a universal joint because the base of the engine didn't sit completely flat in the bottom of the boat, so there's a jog between the output of the motor and the propeller shaft. But a universal joint will sort this out. And that's about it, really. Um, it's been fun to build, section by section. A bit of paint, plimsoll line, SS nose named after our river, and uh, Today it's its maiden voyage and we can actually see it working for the first time. So this was me earlier this morning in a particularly dirty sweater, but that's kind of what I work in, um, lighting the boiler. The boiler takes a alcohol burner, which holds quite a lot of fuel and will run for uh, maybe about five, ten minutes at one PSI. That's the um, hull prow section, which was part of the 3D printing kit, which I'll include in the instructions in the description. So, follow Dorothy and I as we take it downstairs in our house. We live in a house in the southwest of France. It's an old water mill. This is the door downstairs to the water mill with its uh, counterbalance weight. Down the scary stairs to my workshop and where the mill used to be and of course my YouTube studio. Outside we have recently built a new wood deck and here's the river. So the house is on a river and it flows underneath the house in four tunnels. That's where there were horizontal turbine blades to actually mill flour. I found this very old pair of waders somewhere in the house when we bought it. Unfortunately, I think they left it here because one of the legs has a hole in it, which I've patched with silver tape that doesn't really work that well. <laughs> Good luck, Simon. And it was a particularly cold day. Um, it was in the 16th of December in the morning, but uh, the sun was out, so Dorothy and I bravely decided to get in our river. Oops. Now, one of the issues with the boat is to actually uh, keep it level. The engine makes the center of gravity rather high and so I was a bit worried on this maiden voyage that it would tip over, fill up with water and sink to the bottom of our muddy river. So um, hopefully that isn't going to happen. 
So now that the uh, boiler is lit, it takes a few minutes to actually boil the water. Um, and here I am testing it to see if it's ready. One of the things that's a good idea to do with a steam engine is to actually prime it, which means you put hot water through the cylinder and you'll see it spurting out just water. That kind of preheats the engine and gets rid of any excess uh, water. Um, you see that in professional steam engines uh, on the railway where you got that hissing steam coming out of the steam vents by the cylinders. You don't want any water in your cylinder. And there's its name, SS Nose. Nose is the name of the river that I'm standing in. It's a tiny uh, river that flows in southwest France and eventually joins the giant Dordogne River just at the bottom of our garden. So here is the first time in the river and it's floating pretty well. So let's see if it's going to run. Yeah! Slightly turning uh -oh, uh -oh. to the right and, and will it crash oh into God. our own boat? Ooh. I was a bit worried it was going to flip over and fill with water, but it didn't. Let's try it again. You can see the exhaust is coming out of the exhaust pipe. And oops, there's me burning my fingers on the roasting hot, obviously hot boiler. Uh -huh. And it's just not sitting very level. It's listing over now to um, the left. And so I go and get a couple of um, light sticks from the side of the river, which tiny amount of weight will balance it. That's a bit much, Simon. There's our dog on our bridge. <laughs> Little sweetheart. And here we go. I put the rudder to send it in a circle. It's a bit wild. Oh, it's so cute. But it certainly works and it's a fun model to build and the engine uh, is super powerful and what I would ideally like is to run it in, you know, in a park, in a boating lake. You remember how you used to get boating lakes for children's toys? I don't know if they've got those in France or even if they have them in the world anymore. But certainly I will be running it more in a river or maybe in a friend's swimming pool if they let me. So there she goes. SS knows. I think it's running out of steam, Simon. Rolling, 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 rolling. Wait. Okay, there. Okay. Sorry, it was closing. Come on. I was getting Come on. close. You can do it. Oh. And well, that completes the first Yay. maiden voyage. Uh -oh. It was fun. Oops, I've got a leaf on the propeller. Probably slowing it down. It does have a rudder. Uh, it came, the rudder came with the 3D printing kit, which you can wiggle at the top and send it in circles or make it go straight-ish. The main question is, can I get out the river? At this point, my leg, one leg was particularly wet. And I wonder how much water is in my wader with a hole. This is the first time I've tried it with the tape on it. Certainly my sock was wet. It felt like there was a lot of water, but when I tipped it out, nothing came out. Good. Well, just one soggy sock and successful maiden voyage of the SS Nose. Thanks for watching.